This is the day I've been waiting for, for so, so long. I can't believe it's actually here. Living up to my uncle of the year and brother of the year, I'm going to pick up a very special package from the airport. Hi! Hey. <laughs> Welcome to KLC! Awesome, what do we got? So, we've got our aloe vera shot, cold pressed, soothe your digestion. We've got a mega tea bomb right here, so it's going to give you great energy. Definitely for an active lifestyle. And a great choice, your lean green, delicious, nutritious smoothie. So Amazing, which one do I have first? So we'll kick things off with the aloe shot. Shot it. Shot it. Yeah. Like, shot, shot. Well, it's 100 mils, let's okay. see how we go. Bad at shots. That's a great way to keep the experience up, soothes the digestion. That's nice. That's and very then nice. let's go to get you fired up for the day. <laughs> Power shot. That's good. So you've got a lemon lime hit there. That's sweet as well. Yeah. Without the I'm a sweet juice. person. Mmm. Cardboard. Oh, pointy and inside. Yeah. Look at that. And what's in the green smoothie? So we've got some mangoes, some kiwi, spinach, our special recipe of course, mm. to keep it fresh. No milk? And no milk, no, no dairies. Milk. Plant based all the way. So where is KLC? So we're in Kilo East at 43 Sutter Parade in Kilo East. So you can pre-order, um, come say hi, and uh, we'd love to serve you some healthy options for breakfast, lunch, maybe post-workout. When you come see Amy at KLC, these teas are so nice. Thank you. Excellent, and that's all. That's all. Awesome, thank you. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. Hey, don't bite my hand, don't bite my hand. Okay, so. I've got my energy tea. And I've got the puppy. Spanner. Spanner. Hello. And now, back home to get him out of that cage, feed him, and uh, yeah, get some work done for the rest of the day. But probably we'll be playing with the puppy for the rest of the day. <laughs> Just heading out to get some groceries for tonight. I was supposed to have left today, but we're still awaiting the COVID results of my two housemates. So left the dog in good hands and um, yeah, gonna go get some stuff done, come back. And if they're still sleeping, then uh, I'll just continue editing. So yeah, hopefully we get these results tonight because then I can leave and take this puppy. But secretly, I don't want these results because that means it stays here longer with me. little guy just kept me busy all day haven't you and we haven't even started our road trip <laughs> it's 10 p.m. on Saturday and um, hopefully I get some sleep hopefully little spanner gets some sleep hey hey so that we can head off early tomorrow morning Sunday morning and I had a pretty good sleep with the dog apart from just before bed didn't go to the toilet all day until on my carpet in my room so that was fun cleaning that up I'm in all my stuff's in puppy's in Bit of a whinger this one, but it took a lot longer than expected, and that's okay. We're gonna make it all the way. 
without any drama. No poop in the car, no nothing. It's gonna be all sweet. I have to put up with already. So we're at a little truck stop and I thought would it get out and have a little walk? Because you've been very good, haven't you? Very good. One hour down, six to go. Thus concludes the trip to Mildura. Now we're to go surprise the kids with the dog. So the kids don't know I'm here. So I'm a surprise and the dog's a surprise. Let's see if we can find them. You missed it. Yeah. Come over here. Come over here. Sit, sit over here. Quick. Hang on, look out. Hang on, look out, Dwayne. Ready? Ready? Open it up. Oh, 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 no, Millie's turn ya. Yeah. No, don't open any door. Maybe you can go and get the, the toys that we got him. Yeah. So, I'm back in Muldura. Had a great sleep and a great sleep in, I think. The events of yesterday caught up to me. <laughs> um, Cause I was like, oh no, I had a pretty good sleep with the dog on. Uh, Saturday night and then it was like nah you didn't you needed more sleep so look at this it's trucks sunshine I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt because it's beautiful weather um, and life's good just gonna go look after the kids for a little bit and then I'm basically free I don't have any major plans which is really nice for once but um, things on later in the day so keep you guys updated and show you what I get up to it is nearly five o'clock and I've been itching for a run since yesterday so perfect time to come down to one of my fave spots in Mordura to relax to run and um, great scenery. Three point six. Ks, so not bad for for me, someone that hasn't been running only the past week. <clears throat> Took me 20 minutes, which is definitely not my fastest time I've ever done. But, like I said, considering um, it was a beautiful run, like, check that. As you've been watching and all the way, it was just beautiful landscapes. Basically a bushwalk, <laughs> but running. 
<laughs> this is one of my favorite spots to come meditate rethink i think a lot of times throughout the past around the end of last year start of this year was this my place to come sit get away from everything listen to the birds listen to nature and just be in calmness of you know this beautiful place and look at look at this so close to home too Beautiful day in Muldura, it's 18 degrees. I'm still wearing a hoodie though because it's a freezing cold breeze. I'm about to meet mum for coffee. Had a pretty chilled morning, but uh, hopefully I get to spend some time with mum. So news has come out from the government that they are locking down suburbs in Melbourne um, because of everything that's going on and one of those suburbs happens to be where I live. So my dilemma is that's for four weeks they're going to lock it down. So my dilemma is do I stay here in Muldura and do everything I need to do which you know, the benefits of what I do is I've always worked online. I only, only need my laptop, I've got my camera, I've got everything I kind of need to get by. Um, or I go home and have to be locked down for four weeks, which also isn't a bad option. It's times like these that makes me so grateful that I work from anywhere, from my laptop, and I've created a business for myself where I don't have to be in certain places so it definitely doesn't make it less stressful than what's going on right now but I get to spend a month in Muldura with my family enjoying the sunshine <laughs> I'm back. He's back. I'm back. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Who's brother missed you? He's injured. He's injured. He From came, last he week. So I'm back at football. I said I wouldn't, but I'm back. What are we going to do? Ten, ten what am weeks. I going to do with ten my weeks. life? This is going to be my last vlog. My last vlog of doing a weekly wrap up. Now I'm going to switch. It is June 30th today, but tomorrow is July the 1st, the first week of the second half of the year, and I'm challenging myself to release a daily vlog for you right here, and I'm so pumped for this because every day I'm going to be throwing out wisdom, throwing behind the scenes my life, stuff that... I actually really love making these and the more I've loved them I'm like I can't make 30 minute weekly wrap ups so why don't I just do a daily video to show you guys what I do but also the things that are coming up because there is so much exciting things happening in my world and I want to be able to share that with you and I want you to be part of it as well so make sure you are subscribed Make sure you are following me on Instagram, most importantly on YouTube where these videos are going to be coming out. But, oh, I'm just so excited. So I hope you enjoyed this past wrap up of the last week, but I cannot wait for you to see me daily and to see these videos and to come along for the journey. So make sure you are subscribed, you do share this around, and I appreciate you guys so much.